people that that say um, you know oh I'm colorblind is really not honoring an individual love evolution in terms of my relationship with brotherhood or sisterhood I just have this you know knowing that's been passed down to me that part of the world is constantly reminded of their disadvantage, their, their oppression, the aggression, the unsafety, the hate. But me, as a privileged person, needs to be reminded of that privilege daily. Absolutely. As a way to mobilize, as a way to influence. For me, it's actually working with my privilege. It's actually work yeah. acknowledging that I grew up in a certain condition. And um, when I acknowledge that, I'm able to meet my, not only just my clients, but even the world yourself from a place of this is what I, this is the insight I'm coming with and this is what I have to share. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And as Gestaltists, simply to acknowledge the situation we find ourselves in. Yeah. With every black client last week, I started with, I'm not black. Yes, I'm very into racial politics, but I'm not black. I don't know your story exactly. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what it's like to see um, a person that uh, a black another fellow black person uh, lynched on on video like that. I don't I don't know yeah. that. Yeah, it's so important to have that recognition. I think people that that say um, you know, oh, I'm colorblind is really not honoring an individual. Um, no. I think right now, you know, the parallel that I'm drawing between. Um, these two viruses mm. is we have a you know the first virus that is teaching us that when we socialize isolate then we help combat that virus that um, when we maintain hygiene and we're cautious we sanitize we, we're sanitizing we're clearing ourselves from that yeah it seems it feels like there's so much more tangible action and solution there but I think it's also heightened people in the sense of no one is immune to it right now um, and what what I choose to do and how I choose to show up will have an impact on my neighbor on my community on my family Absolutely. but the virus that is racism which has been with us from the very beginning is speaks so much more to the opposite of that of we are not to isolate we are not to segregate we need to really mobilize and and me as a privileged person needs to sit uncomfortable that that now is what I you know I'm so much more aware of and I choose to be aware of, and I'm committed to being aware of. 